Hello, everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. And uh, I come up with uh, one more business scenario. I hope you are enjoying learning our uh, business scenario videos on Whiteboard. You can watch if you miss any of those videos and uh, provide your valuable comments or any feedback if you want to include any scenario for our next video. So today I'm going to talk about uh, the business process. Uh, or, uh, what is this point and when the business generally use it? There would be different different cases. I'm taking few examples uh, to uh, demonstrate you to make you understand better. So if you see uh, what is returnable gate pass, returnable gate pass and non returnable, non returnable gate pass. Simply we call it as RGP and NRGP. So let us discuss about these two today and what is RGP and what is NRGP and uh, when do we take it? For example, whenever the goods are going out of our warehouse and uh, certain uh, companies and uh, legal requirement or if their practice of the business process, they want to take the printout of a gate pass. It's uh, not few companies. This gate pass will be used by most of the uh, warehouses. It's a part of verification. The gate pass need to be uh, signed by the security at the end of the door and uh, even the first signature from the warehouse a clerk who is who has done that uh, loading process and he will put one signature and the security will put one signature or else he may be third signature also would be there. So gate pass is a common point. But what is returnable gate pass and non-returnable gate pass? How to segregate? And how can we show on the text? Okay, for example, the gate pass is, looks similar and uh, the gate pass may look like this. For example, maybe the gate pass is a form. It may look like this. You will have a name called gate pass and it may have the two address to whom you are sending and um, two or else generally we write from address here and the destination, destination address, okay, to whom you are sending. It could be having a date, you, here you may have uh, any information like a plant, location, material A, material B, material B, material C, okay? So quantity, unit of measure, whatever information you wanted to show, two pieces, three each, five pieces and all. And the bottom you will have a signature column. There may be warehouse clerk, security, and some other any manager, anything if you have a multiple signatures will be there. Let's take this is a gate pass, but based on the movement type, and you wanted to add uh, dynamic text. That is R R N R. So how can you uh, keep it uh, when you write that ABAP logic? Enter data I need similar, but um, when I want to have based on the movement type, we want to give written and non-written. What is this written and non-written? This is your company. And let's take it. Um, this is the company. Let's take this is a warehouse. And um, this is our security gate. Security final gate. And these are your warehouse doors. And here you will do the, the part of unloading. Okay. Here you will do the loading unloading activities. Where the codes are getting shipped, load, and then it will go out of like this. So here, what are the different, different movement types and where you can uh, conclude and where you don't have to conclude that one, we are going to see now. So let me use some different color. So for example, 
written non returnable we have plenty of examples returnable i will give you two examples today what is the written get pass examples 541 and 631 what is 541 541 is using for the subcontracting process but 541 is also used for um, process where you you uh, you want to give for a repair work you will not have any kind of a purchase order and you don't want to use that purchase order or if you use the purchase order also it will be like um, a recurrent bomb what is a recurrent bomb parent and child material both are same. Parent material, sale material, both are same. That we call as a recurrent bomb. So if you are using subcontracting with recurrent bomb, okay, with the recurrent bomb or transfer posting only you are doing, transfer posting directly for repair without using subcontracting PO concept. If you use subcontracting PO, you can add the service charges and uh, if the business says that uh, no no uh, my both materials are same if i my uh, child material is consumed with 100 dollar if my service charges is 10 dollar then the, when i receive the same material it will become 110 dollar which will impact my map if business doesn't want to do that one you can directly do the transfer posting 541 and uh, print this rgp return will get pass so the after uh, five days the repair work is completed you receive it 542. That is the process here. In case of subcontracting with recurrent bomb, you can you give it 541 and then you consume with 543O and 101, you will receive it. Okay. So whether you are using this method or that method, okay, let me use here. Here 541 consume with 543O and receive it 101. So issue with 541 and receive it. 101 in this process okay here simple 541 and 542 you send with 541 and receive with 542 okay because why returnable gate pass you are sending the goods out but they will come back again in a week or in 10 days or uh, one month or five months whatever okay and the next one 631 what is the 631 the 631 is related to the sales more related movement type and uh, they use the lending concept consigning and lending or lending process what will happen i am giving my product uh, for lending you can say like a rent also you can say a product for a lending to my customer and he will keep for three months or two months or five months and then i will receive it a written sales order 632 so this that uh, this one coming to uh, I think we, we will do one thing. Like five forty one, we'll keep it that one. Another example. Another example we have six six thirty one. Okay. So what will we do with six thirty one? Okay. So let us make it 631. Just now, I, like I mentioned, 631 is using for the customer lending order. Okay, lending or uh, lending order. You give the product to customer, and you know that it will be come back. Okay, it will be coming back. So that uh, customer landing order 631, then it will go, it will have a DO, then PGI, okay, PGI with 631. And then you will do the any billing based on the uh, what agreement you have taken. Product went out, product went out. After three months, you will receive the product again with written, written, uh, SO written as well, but it's related to the landing order. So that system will trigger 632 moment type. 
So when you're using this lending concept, 631, 632, if you're in normal sales, 601. So these are all example, these two are the exam, best example for the returnable gate pass. I hope you got clarity. You are sending the material and you are going to receive back. Then the gate pass will be printed as a returnable, returnable gate pass. And uh, what are the use at the gate or any verifications or checks wise? Uh, there will be different SOP for the warehouse. If the product, if the movement is a returnable gate pass, they may have certain kind of a checks. And if it is um, non returnable gate pass, the checks could be different because the product will not come back so that the checks could be different ways. So now I'm going to give you the example. This one, plenty of examples we can give. What is non returnable? 601, first place, sales to customer. Sales, it will not come back again. Whether you are doing 641, sending to other plant, or you are using 301 to send to other plant, sales to customer. And uh, even 311, if your location is outside of another location, s -log, that also will not come back again. In future, if they have extra stock, they may send it, but uh, ideally, it will not come back. 311. 311 will not come back. And if you are sending for um, any other, wherever the goods, normal goods we send to customer, or we give to the vendor, okay, if any kind of a return you are sending, for example, 122, you are sending back to your vendor. So it will not come back to you again, 122 or 161. Okay. So scrapping and all, it may not go out of the uh, plant. Uh, it is scrapping inside you are doing or else you are, uh, how you are dealing and all. So these are all the examples for the NRGP, non-returnable gate pass. This is returnable gate pass. This is non-returnable gate pass. So this is where, uh, how you can understand what is RGP, what is NRGP. If you have any questions, I believe, uh, I hope, in this video, you got the required clarity. And if you have any kind of uh, additional scenarios related to RGP and NRGP, please feel free to ask me so that I will definitely include as a new version of the video. Thanks again for watching. And if you're watching this video on Udemy, please give rating immediately without missing. And if you're watching on YouTube, please share our videos. Thank you.